The DevExtreme editors provide a powerful and seamless way to perform data validation. In this video, we'll learn how to validate DevExtreme editors against a predefined set of validation rules. Each editor will be validated each time its value is changed. If a rule is not satisfied, the editor will be indicated by an exclamation mark. In addition, we'll combine editors to a validation group and add a button to this group. When clicking the button, all the editors from the group will be validated at once. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and WebAppJS. I've also referenced styles that correspond to the DevExtreme light theme. Generally, DevExtreme widgets can be added and validated by using any of the jQuery, Knockout, or Angular approaches. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. I've already added two editors. To validate them, they should be associated with the validator widget. The validator widget validates the editor's value against a predefined set of rules. To define the rules to be checked, I'll assign an array of rules to the validator's validation rules configuration option. First, I'll add the required rule to both the editors to demand their values to be specified. In addition, I'll add the pattern rule to the login editor to check that its value doesn't include digits and the string length rule to the password editor to check that the length of the specified password is greater than three. All right, let's see the result. As you can see, the rules are checked each time their value is changed. I'll specify a custom error message for the pattern rule to clarify the occurred error for end users. In addition, I'll specify the editor's names for the validators so that the default error messages have a subject. Now let's add a button. To validate the editors when clicking this button, I'll combine the editors and the button in a validation group. I'll call this group sample group and specify this group name for the editors and the button. Now, let's handle the button's click event. The validation group to which the button belongs can be accessed using the event handler parameter. To validate the editors in the group, I'll call the group's validate method. In addition, I'll show a message if all the rules are satisfied. All right, let's see the result. and the button works. Finally, I'll add the validation summary widget to display all the errors in one place. I'll associate this widget with the editor's validation group. And here's the result. And that's it. To learn how to validate editors using the Knockout and Angular approaches, as well as validate the view model instead of UI editors, please refer to the documentation on the DevExpress website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.